H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Now after that, I can use, I have still to use the variables of the interface out here. So, str1. So, I can use the variables of the interface in this object. Object of IC1 referenced by the reference variable of IC1 class only. So, I can use the and this is your, this part is your properties of the interface used in this particular object. Similarly, the properties are also used in this object. So, I will write it down. And lastly, I have not used the variables of the interface. These are, these are the variables which are allowed. So, I will use the properties. This is these are nothing but methods uh, methods of the interface. So I'll call this as methods of the interface. And I'll use in this object, I'm going to use the variables of the interface or constants of the interface, whatever we can call it as. Okay, this is a static public method, str1 string type, and I, this is a static main method, so I can call it directly str1. But if I call it, I need to put it within the sys out. Okay, why? Because the value is already defined welcome if i try to change the value if i train the child well, let's say hi okay this won't be allowed and it will show you a syntax error final field means the constant can value cannot be changed so how do i call it i will comment it and i will directly call this sys out and call str1 that's all So this is going to print out what the value of welcome so let's check it out save the file class file and run it you see these are the results of the first object welcome similarly i will try to use str 2 3 4 9 and 10 this is public non-static non-static if I try to call it directly, control C and try to call it directly, that means I'll just use a sys out and call str2. So even if it is non static, the value is constant, correct? And that is why I can call it directly. And what is the value of str2? Hi. And that is what I should get. Hi. So it doesn't matter that the constant is, is static or non-static. Now I would think that since it is non-static, I have to call it with the reference variable of this particular object that is your i. Doesn't require. But if I try to change the value of str2, let's say equal to in string format, let's say v then it will show you a problem that final field cannot be assigned see whether the variable is static or non-static or the constant is static or non-static i can call it directly with the name of the variable in a print talent command okay i will think that it is non-static str2 is non-static public so i need to call it the reference variable no not required 
similarly i can call uh, the default static and non static variable str3 and for whose value as vr so i can call directly sys out str3 and i can call similarly like this str4 So 3 has the value of V and uh, ST, STR4 has the value of R. Okay. So I have just created two different columns, nothing else. And if I run this particular class file, let me put it back. Okay. So if I save this and run this particular class file the value of str3 and 4 will be vr so save and run it in the first object we are getting vr similarly what about these are final constants static and non-static so str9 and 10 i can call it directly nine and ten so i will just put nine and ten and what is the value of it the value of it is language aggressively so i'll just save the class file and run it hi we are language aggressively these are the values similarly in this object is referenced by t1 so i can use the same stuff without going and writing it again so i'll just copy it and paste it out here in the second object and it will print out the same stuff for the second object also and i cannot change the value of the constants out here if i try to change up the value same kind of syntax error will crop up final field cannot be assigned I and don't need to use the reference variable t1 of the interface pointing towards the object. I can use the non-static constants also this one or mm, this one or this one without using it with the reference variable of the object. And if I run it, I'll get the same result. So this is before the star sign the results of the first object referenced by the class file of ic1 and this is the second object of ic1 referenced by the interface test t1 so this is session number 29 okay now we we would also know that uh, interface we, we have the concept of child interface so this is interface number one okay and i can create one more interface in this package called as go to highlight new interface i can call this as test one interface okay say finish and if you see the interface symbol looks like this and this test one it's a child interface that inheriting another interface so the test one can inherit by using the extends keyword extends test out here so then we can create and now can we create the object of test one and test that does not we we can create object of test one and test because interface object creation is not possible so i can define that it is extending test test okay that means that mean it can use the properties of this test interface but that does not mean the test one interface object can be created so that means it precisely means that this test one and test these two have to be implemented by a particular class
and it is also possible that a particular interface can extend properties from two different interfaces which is not possible in inheritance you cannot become a child from two different parents which are not at all related you can only become a child of one single parent and multi-level inter inheritance is possible but in interfaces we can have multiple uh, relationship that means a particular interface can extend two different interfaces like this so i can create a third interface let's say uh, 3 test 3 is an interface and this can extend and become rather childs of uh, spelling is wrong Ex extends both test and test 1 test comma test 1 this is possible in interfaces but this is not possible in inheritance inheritance says that you can become a child of one parent not of two parents here the test three have become child of these two parents which are who are not at all you know related in this particular scenario test one and test two test one is a child interface of a test so if i want to see that also uh, i can create one more interface called test two test 2 out here and since uh, test 1 and test was related so from test 3 i will remove the extension ext extends test and test 1 because these two are related test 1 is a child of test interface so test 3 and test 2 uh, test 3 and test 1 are not related so so test 3 in test 3 what are given is it is extending two different parents test and test one but out here you might be thinking that test one is already a child of test that is why it is getting extended out here no not like that i can make test three to extend test two and test one which are not at all related these two interfaces are not at all related so i can do a relationship like this or i can basically extend two different interfaces also So this is called as multiple level multiple relationship between interfaces but this is not possible multiple inheritance is not possible like this a class extending two different classes multi-level inheritance is possible okay but if you since it is extending you will be thinking that i can create an object of just you know it's an interface by itself it is extending the properties of test 2 and test 1 that's what it means but you cannot create an object of test 2 or test 1 or test 3 these three interfaces have to be implemented by a class and then you can use the abstract methods of this inter of these interfaces to be overridden in the class implementing these interfaces okay now let's consider test test was actually the interface that i created i'll create one more uh, class file as ic2 call up the main method I'll make it a public abstract interface now what happens in a public abstract interface it's an abstract class it's not an interface sorry it's an abstract class but it is ex it is implementing implements which interface the test interface okay now in an abstract class which is when it is implementing an interface it can choose which methods of the interface it wants to override but in a public class this is a public class when a public class is implementing an interface remember that all the abstract methods of the interface has to be overridden in the class implementing it but if it is a abstract class i'll close all the other they're all interfaces 
this is also an interface so this is a abstract class it is implementing the interface the, then this particular abstract class can choose to override which method it wants to override okay so let's say it wants to override this particular method sorry this is a global variable it wants to override this particular method test 9 okay so you can choose it so just you can just use public void and the method is test 9 that's all so it can actually choose which abstract method it wants to override and you can put the annotation called override that will make you understand this is overridden from this particular interface and you can have your own class own body of this method and you can use uh, just write down overridden method in abstract class and it can use the variables uh, you can choose to actually override all the methods or one of the methods and you can also use these what you call methods which are concrete method public static and default static but the thing is that the problem is that i can use this how static can be called directly inside the main method so static test one right so i can call it directly control space bar so i'll see test test one The problem is that the method test1 is undefined for the type IC2. It does not understand it. Okay, so what you need to do is that you have to say that this belongs to test dot test1. Then it will understand. What about the other default static method this is test 3 so i directly write down if i write down test 3 the compiler will get confused and will try to find out is test 3 present as a method inside this particular abstract class no not present then i specify this belongs to the test interface and we're getting the option also you can see that okay but if you try this is a non-static overridden method okay and that's why i've given the override uh, annotation out here okay if you try to call this non-static method method inside the main body which is static i need to create an object of this particular class now we know that we cannot create object of abstract classes if i try to create an object and the deal is to create an object because of the fact that i want to call the non-static overridden method which is overridden from the interface called test and that is the behavior because of which i want to create the object of ic2 so this will be let's say i is equal to new ic2 if i try to do that it is going to be a problem cannot instantiate you'll say that the type ic2 then how will i call this particular method and get the result of which is or rather the bot how will i execute the this particular function called test 9 and get the result in the console as overridden method i won't be able to do that okay now i can call the static methods out here in this particular abstract class i can create its own abstract class can also have its own property for example it can be a static method like public static add and i'll just hard code at this point of time void return type so, so 
adding that's all and if i want to call it i can call it directly control spacebar and add method but if i create this is a you know this is a method a property of the abstract class okay i can call the static parts of it like this non static part cannot be called because i cannot create an object of the abstract class not possible it's not a rule you cannot create an object of the abstract class but i can call obviously these constants how do i call the constant inside this ic2 abstract class just test dot uh, string 1 2 3 4 9 10 you can call it with sys out and str1 you can call it like this or you can also write like this it belongs to the test and then str1 it will mean the same okay i can so i can call these constant which are S, str1 2 3 4 9 and 10 so i'll just copy this str2 3 4 9 10 and then i'll change the values 2, 3, 4, 9, and 10. Would I be able to run it? Just save the class file and run it. I will get the results for the constants out here and for the test 1 and test 2. And the add a method is static, I can call it. But only I'll get the result for the static methods and the static variables out here. What about non-static? So that is why there's a limitation of using the abstract class and getting the result out of it. So better is that this abstract class should be inherited by another class. So that you can get the results of the overridden methods. So this abstract class should be inherited. This IC2 is an abstract class. So I can create another class inside it. Let's say IC3. And this class should inherit IC2. So I can write down extends IC2. This is IC3. I'll IC3 and this is also, this is ICE actually. Okay. Uh, let it be ice out here. Now, if you see out here, ice extends IC2. So, it is always feasible and good that you inherit an abstract class. Otherwise, if you run the abstract class, you are only getting the results for the static methods and the static variables that are being used. Non static cannot get any result in abstract class. So it will extend this uh, red underline out here. So you need to add unimplemented methods. Add it. You will see that 10, 11, 12 are coming. Why is not 9 coming? Because 9 is already overridden out here in the abstract class. Which are not overridden? So I chose not to override uh, 10, 11, 12 in the abstract class. This is the abstract class. I just chose to override 9. So when a particular class is inheriting the abstract class, the rest of the remaining abstract methods present in the test interface also gets overridden. So that is why you are seeing 10, 11 and 12. You are not getting 9 as overridden because it is already overridden in the abstract class out here. And then you can define its own method and can, you can do the same thing as you wish to. So that's about it. That's more than enough as far as interface is concerned in terms of examples. If you have any questions, please revert to us.